Hi friends, it's Dennis here and for this video I'm going to be proving some simple basic trigonometric identities. Uh, throughout the video I'll also be giving you some tips and tricks on how to solve these problems easily. So let's get started with the first one. Here we have cosine to the power 4 minus sine to the power 4. Uh, we have to prove that this is equal to cosine squared minus sine squared or we can actually do it the other way around. So if you're doing these problems, I would advise that you begin with the side that has the greatest detail. So let's begin on this one here. So we have cos to the power 4 theta minus sine to the power 4 theta equals cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So as you can see in this problem here, I actually see a lot of detail on the left hand side than the right hand side. So this suggests that it's probably ideal to begin with the left hand side. This has up to the fourth power while the other side has only up to the second power. So I'll begin with this side here. Also, another important thing here, um, if you look at these powers here, these are actually even powers, uh, which suggests that we can use the difference of two squares. Uh, in case you don't know that, so I'll just remind you here. Uh, if you have a squared minus b squared, this simplifies to a plus b into a minus b. So, yeah, we can expand this here as this. So, I'll just go back to this color here. So, what I have here, I can translate this as follows. I can write this as cos squared theta squared. So, uh, 2 times 2 is actually 4. So, uh, I haven't changed anything here. Minus, so I'll also write sine squared theta squared. Okay, this is nice. Now, if you compare this with the difference of two squares that I have up here, I can write this as cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. So you can take this as A and this as B. So you have A plus B and then I have cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Okay, just squeezing that there. So anyways, uh, another important thing, uh, there is this basic trigonometric identity here. Cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. This is actually Pythagoras theorem written in terms of angles and this is always equal to 1. So finally, uh, I have this as 1 times whatever I have here, which is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. And there we have it. We proved that uh, this thing here, cos to the power 4 theta minus sine to the power 4 theta, is the same as cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Okay, so that's a, a nice one, simple one. Let's, let's look at the second one here. So... Let's try this out. Number two, I'll write that here. One divided by, so we have one plus cos theta plus one divided by one minus cosine of theta. And we have to show that this is equal to two times cosec of theta. Okay, just scroll up here. So yeah, this is an interesting problem too. Um, still, as you can see, this side here has more details. So the left hand side, uh, oops. So the left hand side here has more details than the right hand side. So uh, I better begin with the left hand side because then uh, I have a lot of steps to take uh, than beginning with the right hand side. Okay. So just take this off. All right. So here we go. Now, the first thing you think of here is probably to uh, combine these two fractions, which is uh, a great idea. But if you look at these two fractions, let's see. The common denominator is going to be obviously this times this, which is going to be 1 minus cos squared theta, which is sine squared theta. And um, I think that's going to create a lot of problems while uh, trying to combine these fractions here. So what I like to do uh, when I have such fractions is to do what we call rationalization of the denominator. So I'm going to rationalize the denominator 
Uh, you'll see that in a sec. So let, let's let's do that here. So I have one divided by one plus cosine of theta. So this is this is how we do the rationalization. Since I'm rationalizing the denominator, I'll just get this denominator here. I multiply it by its conjugate. So I have one minus cos theta. As you can see, this is plus. I've changed it to minus, which is its conjugate. Have to put that in brackets. I also do that on the numerator, one minus cosine of theta. Oh, by the way, this can cancel with this. So I haven't really made a big difference here, uh, but I'm just trying to simplify this. Okay, so let's do the same for this. I have one divided by one minus cosine of theta. So I'm going to multiply this by its conjugate, which is one plus cosine of theta, one minus, okay, plus cosine of theta. All right, so not bad so far. Um, next, so one times this here, just have whatever that is, one minus cosine of theta. If you look at the denominator here, it's a difference of two squares. That's going to be one squared, which is just one minus, okay, I'll just write that for the sake of this video, minus cos squared theta. You can prove that it's, it's uh, basic. We've just looked at that up there. So the next one is one plus cosine of theta. This divided by, okay, the same thing here, one squared minus cos squared theta. And this is going to be, so uh, just combine this up now, since we have the same denominator, which is a nice thing here. Now we have one minus cos squared theta. And on top we have one minus cos theta plus one plus cos theta. Okay, just proceed from here. So as you can see, this is going to subtract with this, then one plus one is two, all right? And then one minus cos squared theta, I'll just show you what that is. So you know that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is one, okay? So uh, make sure you can see the question. Anyways, so from here you can easily see that if I get, um, what's that going to be? Okay, this here, one minus cos squared theta is going to be sine squared theta. I mean, if I take this the other side, I'll have sine squared theta is one minus cos squared theta. So this is the same as two divided by sine squared theta. And we're almost there. So we know that one over sine squared theta is actually cosec squared theta uh, by definition. So this is cosec squared theta. So if I have two here, uh, just make that a two and then, so, okay. So there we have it. If this is two, then that's going to be a two here, which is what we have here. So second example is also proved. Let's move on to the third. And for the third, we have this here, uh, one minus sine theta divided by cos theta equals this thing here. Uh, I already have this on another page, so I'll just go there. Okay, so here we go. All right, so what do we do for this? Um, I will start with the left-hand side still. Uh, I think it has um, a lot of detail to begin with. So I'm going to begin by rationalizing the, the numerator because I think that's a great idea since uh, if I rationalize this, it's going to kind of have something to do with the Pythagorean theorem, which I think is a nice thing for this one here. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? So, so for this, I'm going to rationalize the numerator, which is also, by the way, a great 
uh, technique while evaluating these uh, proofs here. Um, I mean, sometimes you just have to try out random stuff and see which one works, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. One minus sine theta divide by cos theta. This is the same as one minus sine theta divide by cos theta. So this I multiply by one plus sine theta. I'll do that here also, one plus sine theta. And let's see what we have now. So this is this times this, that's a difference of two squares. I'll just write the final result, one minus sine squared theta. And down here, I'll just have, um, what's that going to be? Cos, cos theta plus cos theta sine theta. Okay, that's a nice one. And we know what this is, one minus sine squared theta, that's cos squared theta. I already talked about this. We know that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is one. So if I just take the sine the other side, then I'll have cos squared theta is one minus uh, sine squared theta, this one here. So I'll just write for this. I'll write this cos squared theta should just come back to this color. So that's cos squared theta divided by down here I have cos theta plus cos theta sine theta. Okay, nice one. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to just take away these brackets. I'm going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by cos squared theta because what I'm proving here has a one on top here. So I have to get rid of cos squared theta. So let's do that. So I'm going to divide the numerator and denominator. Okay. By cos squared theta. So if we do that, uh, just get this here, okay? So if we do that, uh, let's see what we'll have here. Cos squared theta divided by cos squared theta divided by. So for this here, we have cos theta divided by cos squared theta plus cos theta sine theta divided by cos squared theta. Okay, I'll just come here. This is, so everything here cancels. We have one, okay, one divided by, let's see what we have down here. Cos divided by cos squared, that's one divided by cos theta plus. Also here, uh, we have cos cancels with one of the, you know, cos squared is cos times cos, so I'll just remain with sine theta over cos theta. Now, we're almost there. By definition, we know that one over cos theta, one divided by cos theta is sec of theta, and sine theta over cos theta is tangent of theta, tan of theta. And there we have it. Uh, okay, so that is proved. I don't know what that is. Okay, so there we have it. Um, let's see the next one here. So, okay, number four, we have cosec of 2x plus cot of 2x equals cot of x. So the first thing you observe for this one here is that we have 2x, 2x, which are double angles, and our final result has a single angle which is x so we have to find a way of converting the double angle into uh, single angles okay so let's begin here by definition we know that cosec is 1 over sine so I'll say that's 1 over sine 2x we also know that cotangent is what's that going to be that's cosine over sine okay 
So now we have the same denominator, sine 2x, sine 2x, which is good. So let's see, I will have 1 plus cosine of 2x divided by sine 2x. And now it's time to change the double angles to single angles. So uh, I'll just remind you of these two here. We know that cosine of 2x is cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x. These are now single angles. And uh, we also know that sine of 2x is 2 sine x cos x. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to get this and plug them in here. So I'll just proceed that from down here. So let's see what we have now. 1 plus for cos 2x, I'll write this. Cos squared x minus sine squared x divided by 2 sine x cos x. So let's see. Um, 1 plus, okay. So I think this thing here is not nice. I better write this in terms of you know, one trig identity, uh, one trig function, like cosine or sine. So let, let's substitute for this sine squared x here. We'll have one plus cos squared x minus, so we know what sine squared is, that's one minus, uh, oops, that's one minus cos squared x. Um, okay, I'll just leave this for now. So two sine x cos x. And next we have, so I just expand this here, we have 1 plus, so cos squared minus minus, that's going to be plus, so I'll write 2 cos squared x. So this and this, I'll have minus 1 divided by 2 sine x cosine of x, which is, so this one and this one just cancel out. Uh, so I have 2 cos squared x divided by 2 sine x cos x. Obviously, you can see this 2 cancels with this. I also have cos squared, which cancels with, you know, one of the cosine x here. And finally, I'll just have cosine of x divided by sine x, which by definition gives us cot of x, which is what we wanted to get for this. Okay, so this is proved, and let's go to the final one. Uh, that's here. Okay, so we have to prove or to show that tan a plus tan b plus tan c equals tan a, tan b, tan c. Notice all the plus signs have disappeared here. There's a special condition attached for this. A, B, and C are angles of a triangle. So, yeah, A, B, and C are angles of a triangle. So how do we deal with that? So regardless of how the triangle looks like, I mean, there are different shapes of triangles, but one thing is true, uh, that if you add up all the angles in a triangle, you always get 180 degrees. So because of this here, being angles of a triangle, it means... A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. Okay, so let's try to introduce tangent on both sides. I'll do that here. So I have tan of A plus B plus C equals tan of 180 degrees. And by the way, the tan of 180 degrees is actually a zero. So tan of A plus B plus C equals to zero. Okay. Now, we have the compound formula for tan. I'll just write that here. So, if you have tan of, just put that up here, uh, tan of x plus y, this is uh, expanded as tan of x plus tan of y divided by 1 minus tan x times tan y. Now, there is a compound angle formula for 
turn provided you have two angles such as x and y but not three angles like abc okay so what i have to do here is to pair these angles for example i'm going to read this as tan i'll just take this as a plus b plus c notice that here i treat a plus b as a single angle uh, which allows me to use this uh, compound angle formula for tangent okay so let's proceed now this is going to be equal to uh, using this i'll just have tan of a plus b plus tan of c divide by one minus tan of a plus b tan of c and of course all this equals to zero don't forget okay so i'll also expand what this is um this here tan a plus b that's going to be um tan a okay just do this here tan a plus uh tan b divide by one minus tan a tan b so this here is this guy right here and then we have plus tan c uh okay i don't care writing the denominator because if i just cross multiply here this is going to be zero anyway so i could just leave that here i just continue with this equals to zero okay uh all right so let's see what we have here um let me think about this if this is actually going to be useful okay i'll just write this not sure if that will be used anywhere but okay i'll include what this is so this is one minus uh, i'll still substitute for tan a plus b so that's going to be tan a plus tan b uh, divide by 1 minus tan a tan b and all this times tan c which is what we have here okay i uh, just need to clean this up a little so all this equals to zero okay just create more space here all right so I need to clean this up just try to do some simplification that's going to be tan a plus tan b uh, plus so this is going to be tan c into 1 minus tan a uh, tan b all right of course divide by this here 1 minus tan a and b and then all this i've got to divide it by this right here um, which is also going to be one minus tan a one minus tan a tan b uh, minus tan a plus tan b okay tan a plus tan b uh all right this right here is multiplied by tan c okay all this divide by one minus tan a tan b and is equal to zero don't forget so this here can cancel with this let's see what i've got now so i have this right there which is tan a plus tan b plus i can now open this up here that's going to be plus tan c minus tan a uh, tan b oops that's tan b okay tan c divided by yes everything down here one minus tan a uh, tan b tan b minus tan a okay tan a tan c plus tan b is that plus minus yeah minus 
uh, minus tan B tan C equals to zero. So finally, only the numerator is going to be equal to zero. So I have tan A plus tan B plus tan C uh, minus tan A tan B tan C equals to zero, which I can now take this over to the right hand side. So I'll just have tan A plus tan B plus tan C equals, okay, that's tan A tan B tan C and that's, okay, that's what we actually wanted here, tan A plus tan B plus tan C equals tan A plus tan B plus tan C and we we'll prove this which is a, a nice one. So thanks for watching this video. I hope this video has um, uh, provided you with more tips and tricks on how to uh, solve these problems where you have to prove some trigonometric identity or to show that some part of an expression equals another part. And um, I guess I'll just do a follow-up video with uh, more tips and more interesting examples that in, uh, involve using factor formulae and um, I think more of the double angles and compound angles. So yeah, that video is going to be out. Not sure when, but yeah, I'm going to make a follow-up video on that. So uh, thanks for watching this. If you find this helpful, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.